here at the Beaches, Benches and Boycotts um, exhibit to try to show them what the Civil Rights Movement was really all about and how it impacted the lives of the citizens of St. Petersburg uh, and the citizens of the state of Florida and really to show them on a, on a deeper personal level um, what, what things were really like in the South during the Jim Crow era. Um, the, it is very important for the students to uh, learn about this history because it is a very important part of history, uh, especially from our students who attend Gibbs High School, which uh, Gibbs was the first uh, school to open for my minorities. And so with us having students who attend Gibbs, this is a good setting for them to understand the history of Gibbs as well as the history of St. Pete as well as just their black history. So. Uh, I think it's already important. Uh, I've been asked twice about some of the things that, I've, that the students have seen on the wall. Uh, one of them was the green bench. And they're asking questions about whether or not uh, they, that we should still have them in St. Petersburg and, and their, what are their attitudes towards the bench. I think there's a voting thing here, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, uh, and they didn't know how to vote on it. And I just said to them, I said, you know, you have to look at, it's encouraging you to take a look at how you might use history for the present of uniting people together. It definitely supports the curriculum. Um, you know, they're sh being shown examples of things that they've been taught, uh, things that they've read, things that they've viewed in lecture and video, and now they can see some of the real life items and some of the real life people who went through these experiences themselves. My name is Leon Jackson and I'm one of the Courageous Twelve. That lawsuit paved the way for not only African Americans in St. Petersburg Police Department, but it paved the way for African Americans in law enforcement in, in the entire nation. And it should be known. It shows like how we like progressed, like we were like unequal, but now we equal. And it shows like we smart. We so smart. Like we boycotted. Like we did so much stuff. And look at us now. It make it different because I actually see examples of the stuff I'm talking about. See, at school, Mr. Powers, we are, he like teaches us stuff, but now I'm like actually seeing the proof, like the building doors, like color, white, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't see that at school. It's affecting me in a good way, uh, learning about the history um, of the United States, learning about the history of, of um, African Americans and stuff like that. You know, it's, it's very interesting. Even though I already came in with a, a lot of background information off of this, um, it, it's nice to know, you know, it's nice to always learn our history, the roots of, the Amer of America and everything. So. Um, it makes me feel that like I can actually pursue my dreams without like having to worry about like being a, a woman or being African American. I can like freely do whatever I want to do and like focus on my future without having any like racial discrimination.